kindergarten, we made it through another week. It's Friday, our last day today, or this week. Of course, it's our last day today. Um, I was thinking about next week. It would be fun to have, like, maybe a silly sock day one day next week. So we'll talk more about that next week, but get ready for it because I think silly sock day might be coming next week where you could wear like two different socks. You could wear somebody else's socks. You could wear your socks inside out. You could wear your socks like tucked over the bottom of your pants. We'll, we'll see. But next week, one day, we'll do um, Silly Sock Day, okay? Let's talk about what we're doing today. It is a regular day, so here's our schedule. Class meeting, morning work, reading groups, literacy block, math, and writing. And let's look over at our calendar. Yesterday was the 24th. What comes after 24? 25. I can't believe it's already the 25th. Look at all these days that we've had together so far. That is a lot of learning that we've done. Today is our whisper, boys. Are you ready for it? Here we go. Let's do morning work. Write your name at the top. And then um, look at the object and copy it into the box below. This first object is a triangle. It has two slant lines and a straight line. Next, we're going to start up high, make a straight line down, curve it around, and stop. This looks like the letter J, doesn't it? Or a fish hook. Next, let's do this. Start up high, go down, curve around and come back up. That looks like a capital U. All right, over here we have to circle the object that does not belong right here. So this looks like um, an emergency kit. Do you know what an emergency kit is? It has things in it that um, you might need if you are hurt or sick. So let's think about things that could be in your emergency kit. We have band-aids, a shot, and a barn. So an emergency kit would usually be used by like a healthcare worker, so like a doctor or a nurse or a, um, a person who works in an ambulance would have this. So would they have band-aids in there? Probably. Would they have a shot in there? Yeah, I think they might in case you need it. Could they put a barn in there? <laughs> no, they definitely could not. Let's circle the barn. All right, down here, this is a domino. We, we have dominoes in our class that we do lots of fun things with. So here's a domino. Here's a party hat, a domino, and a domino. Which one of these is not like this? It's a party hat. 
These are all dominoes. This is not. Now you can go back and color in your pictures. Reading groups, last day this week. We've learned so much this week. I'm very proud of you. Um, we're on Prelude C. Let's talk about ourselves. Here we go. My turn. I'm Mrs. Shores. Your turn. Ready? Begin. Do you remember we started working on this word yesterday? I am. I'm. I'm. Here is the sound we're working on for this unit. What is this sound? Mmm. What does the picture show us? Monkey on a mountain. Today, why don't we go down our ladder? See if we can do that. Let's start at the top and we'll go down just for fun. Ready? Begin. Mmm. Oink. Mmm. Meow. Ah. I. Wolf. Let's open it up. We learned about the little farm and Farmer Jones. Yesterday we got to talk about his beautiful red rooster. I'm going to turn one more page. We're starting on page six. It has a little soccer ball. Page six. So here's our blending cards. Let's make this new sound bumpy. Ready? Begin. Mm, mm, mm. Good. Let's make that sound smooth. Mm. Now you're going to do both of those without me. I'll say ready, begin, but you'll make the bumpy sounds and you'll make the smooth sounds without me. Okay? Ready? Begin. Did you do it? Nice job. And we're going to look at this word. We use this to introduce ourselves with every day. Let's make these two sounds on their own. Ready? Begin. I, mmm. Good. Now we're gonna put those two sounds together to make them a word. Ready? Begin. I'm. I'm, I'm happy to be doing school with you today. On our worksheet page on this heart row, do you remember what, what we say when we see this word? We say C. This is our picture word for C. So let's stretch and shrink C. Ready? Begin. C. C. E, C. Let's do that again. Ready? Begin. C. S, E, C. Very good. Now we're going to stretch and shrink the word I'm. Ready? Begin. I'm. I, M. Mm. I'm. Let's do it one more time. I'm. I, mm, I'm. Good. Now let's count the sounds. When we say the word C, what's the first sound you make? S, E. Let's do that again. S, E. Very good. How many sounds are in C? Two. Now let's do that with I'm. What's the first sound? I, mmm. Good, let's do that one more time. I, mmm. How many sounds in I'm? Two. Star row, here we go. Ready, begin. Mmm, I, scissors, ah. One more time. Ready? Begin. M, mm, I, scissors, ah. Very good. 
and the smiley face row. Let's do this word smooth. You're getting really good at it. Ready? Begin. I'm. One more time. Ready? Begin. I'm. I'm. I'm Mrs. Shores. Oh, let's read about the little farm. Farmer Jones lived on a farm with a rooster. Farmer Jones wanted a pig for his farm. Who is our story about? Farmer Jones. Where did Farmer Jones live? He lived on a farm. And what did he want? He wanted a pig. Oh, let's look down below. Farmer Jones went to town and brought back a pretty pink pig. Where did Farmer Jones go? He went to town. And what did he bring back? A pretty pink pig. So he has a beautiful red hen and a pretty pink pig. What do you think he'll bring back next? What else would you have on a farm? We will learn about that on Monday. All right, for our literacy block practice today, we're going to put together the words that rhyme. So let's start over here and let's say all the words. I, moon, pig, dog. Let's say the words over here. Frog, pie, spoon, wig. So let's start with I. Which word over here rhymes with I? <gasps> pie. Everybody say I, pie. I, pie, rhyme. Now, let's look at the moon. What rhymes with moon? Frog, spoon, or wig? There it is, moon, spoon. You say that. Okay, let's look for something that rhymes with pig. What rhymes with pig? Frog or wig? Pig, wig, rhyme. And last, what rhymes with dog? It's gotta be this one, frog. So say dog, frog. Good. I'm going to put these over here and I've got another set. I have car, cat, ten, bear. I have bat, star, chair, pen. Let's start with car. What rhymes with car? Bat, star, chair, or pen? Car, star rhyme. Everybody say car, star. Good. Next, what rhymes with cat? Bat, chair, or pen? Cat, bat, rhyme. Next, ten. What rhymes with ten? Chair or pen? Ten, pen, rhyme. And last, we have bear, chair. So let's go through and say all of our rhyming words, starting over here. I, pie. Moon, spoon, pig, wig, dog, frog, car, star, cat, bat, ten, pen, bear, chair. Nice job. All right, Literacy Block Friday. Well, we don't have that many pages left in this, do we? We only have a few for 
next week and then you'll start on your October packet. That's exciting. So we're doing another syllable sort. I think this might be our last one. I'm not sure. Let's write our name at the top. And then you can pause it and cut out all of your pictures at the bottom. So pause it now and then play it again when you're all ready. All right, so here's my, oh, I'm going to take it off this. And once again, we're gonna cut and glue. We have one syllable and two syllable words. I bet this one's gonna be a snap for you because we've been doing this so long, you're experts. First, we have a ball. How many syllables in ball? Today, I'm gonna snap it because why not? Ball, one syllable. Tiger, tiger. Two. If you don't want to snap, you don't have to. You could still clap or you could stomp or jump, whatever you want to do to get your syllables. This is an acorn. Acorn. Two. How about dog? Dog. One. Bus, bus, one. Ooh, this is fun. Pizza, pizza, two. How about fish, fish, one. Carrot, carrot, two. We're going to call these cards because I don't know what they're thinking. Cards, cards. One. And this is a muffin. Here we go. Muffin. Two. So now you can go back and color in your pictures of all of the one syllable and two syllable words. Today is Friday, so that means it is math review time. So we're going to do lots of different quick activities that we did in math this week. We're going to start with our bears who like to play outside. Think about a math sentence that talks about bears in the grass and bears in the water. Here's my math sentence. Two bears were swimming in the water. Three bears were sitting on the grass. There were five bears all together. What if I switch it? Three bears were in the water. Two bears were in the grass. There were five bears all together. Okay, what is the math sentence for this? Three bears are in the water. One bear is on the grass. There are four bears all together. Did you get that one? Let's go back and see if we remember. Remember when our bears are on the merry-go-round? And sometimes it's hard to count in a circle. 
Remember, one of the things we can do is mark where we start. So I'll put this pen right here and go around my circle. One, two, three, four, five. Another way would be to pick them up. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Let's do this one, but let's do it kind of quickly to see how we do. Ready? Remember you're telling me how many dots and how many spaces. How many dots? One. How many spaces? Four. What about now? How many dots? Three. How many spaces? Two. How about now? How many dots? Four. And how many spaces? One. What about now? How many dots? And how many spaces? Good. We're going to keep using these dots. How many corners does my triangle have? Three. How many dots do I have? Three. What if I did this? Can you tell me a math sentence? There are two dots on my triangle and one dot in my hand. I have three dots all together. What about now? I have one dot on my triangle and two dots in my hand. I have three dots all together. Did you get that? I bet you did because you're super smart. And let's do this last one. Today's going to be kind of a short day. We did a lot of mathing this week. I'm going to put these cards out for my numbers. Next week, we get to start practicing writing our numbers. And we have some fun little rhymes that go along with it. All right, here we go. How many? Four. Four. How many? One, one. How many? Three, three. How many? One, one. We really need to get a two this time. <gasps> Holy cow. Two, two. Let's do one more. Three, three. Nice job. Kindergarten, it is Friday, the end of our day. Let's do our alphabet tracing. A, B, C. D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Today is the letter N. Let's look up here and see how to make it. Okay, capital N start at the top. Make a straight line down, jump back to the top, make a slant line down and up. That's a capital N. Lowercase n, start at the middle and make a straight line down and then bring it back up and around. Let's practice that on our own down below. Straight line down, 
jump back up there, slant line down, straight line up. I was really quiet during that because I was concentrating. Do you get quiet when you concentrate? Okay, I'm gonna start on my lower case. I start at the middle and go down and make a curve line around. Only at the middle line and the bottom line. Then, down below, color in the capital N's and lowercase N's. And then let's look at some things that start with N. Night, notebook, necklace, nine, narwhal, newt, nails, nurse, nectarine, nuts, newspaper, nest, noodles, all start with N. So you'll color those in too. And that's it, kindergarten, we're done with our day and we're done with our week. So have a great weekend and I'll see you again on Monday.